Hi! Welcome to another video for C410 or hydraulics and in this video we're gonna be solving again another constant head orifice and in this case the condition is still in steady flow. So for those who didn't watch my video or my lecture in orifice, please see the link on the description below. Let's go! So this is the problem. Problem number two, determine the discharge at the orifice from the figure shown. So, as you can see in the figure, there is a reservoir. So, this is a tank filled with water. So, the tank is under pressure or there is an input uh, air pressure or gauge pressure of 40 kilopascals. So, the head of the water from the orifice, the orifice is situated below the tank, up to the liquid surface is 3 meters. So, assuming that this head is constant and there is a continuous supply here in the tank. So, the required is to determine the flow rate or Q. Let's go! So why I wrote Q sub A rather than Q sub B? So, it is because C is already given. So if C is not given, then we can compute for Q sub A or actual discharge. And we can, we can only compute for Q sub B or theoretical discharge. Also, if HL or the head loss is given, so the system would be a non-ideal system, then... The computed discharge on that particular equation would be also Q sub A. So if the system is ideal, then we can compute for Q sub B. So our solution for this, so we use only one solution. We can also use Bernoulli's energy equation for this, or we can use the derived formula. So our derived formula is Q sub A or actual discharge is equal to C or the coefficient of discharge times A sub O or the cross-sectional area of the opening of the orifice times the square root of 2G uppercase H. Remember that the value of uppercase H depends on the existing energy that will trigger the discharge at the orifice. So, in this case, H comprises of the following. So, first is the pressure or the input gauge pressure at the tank. So, that's P over gamma plus the head which is 3 or lowercase h. Now, uh, there is no velocity of approach as you can see in the figure. So, we neglect the velocity of approach. So, the, the only involved energies here are the pressure head and the potential head from the head of the water. So, that's H is equal to P over gamma. So, that's 40. So we use the specific weight of 9.81 in order for us to compute the head in meters plus h so that's 3 so our, our answer would be in meters so let's try to input that in the calculator so that's 40 divided by 9.81 0.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter plus 3. So that's 7.07 7.07 meters of head. That's 0 0.077. Okay. So now, since we're gonna be using this on this formula so let's store this value in the calculator at a so shift store then store that to a 
Next, we plug in this value on our working equation. So that's Q sub A is equal to C. So C is already given. That's 0 0.92. So that is multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the opening of the orifice. So since the diameter of the orifice is already given, we use the formula for the area of circle. That's pi times d. So that's 50 millimeters. Convert that to meters. That's 0 0.05 meters. Pi times 0 0.05 square all over 4. It's pi d square over 4 times the square root of 2 times g or the acceleration due to gravity that's 9.81 multiplied by h so h was stored on a in the calculator so let's write a here and the actual discharge let's input the values on the calculator so that's 0. 92 multiplied by the area of the opening of the orifice so that's in fraction pi so shift pi times 0 0.05 square all over 4 times Oops, sorry. The quantity of the square root of 2 times 9.81 times A. So, A was stored here. Let's press alpha A. And, oops. There you go. Equals, so, the computed actual discharge is 0 0.021 cubic meters per second. So this would be our final answer. So if you want to make this a more significant value, you can multiply this to 1000 and the unit will become LPS. Let's go! So that's it for this video. So if you learned something, kindly comment on the comment box. And see you again to another video. Thanks. Let's go!